Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how you can solve a, syst a system of simultaneous equations in two variables. Now what is meant by simultaneous equations or the simultaneous system or system of simultaneous equations? So when you have two equations and they are having the same uh, solution, the same set of solution, then, they are, then this is called a system of simultaneous equations. So set of all values of x that will satisfy that system of equation is called the solution set of the system. So we will discuss two cases. Case one is when one equation is linear and the other equation is quadratic. We have already discussed in our previous lectures that what is meant by linear equation and what is meant by quadratic equation. So a linear equation is that uh, for, uh, for your, uh, for in, a, in, in short you can say a linear equation is a linear having the value of uh, having the power of x that is 1 and the quadratic equation is an equation having the power of x 2. Okay, so first we will consider the case 1 where we will have two equations, one li linear and the other quadratic. So let's start with the example in order to understand how you can solve a system of two equations with two variables in where one equation is linear and the other is quadratic. So if you have the equation 1 is x plus y equals to 5 this is a linear equation and the other equation is x square minus 2y minus 14 equals to 0 this is a quadratic equation now how you can you will solve them simultaneously so that you can have a common solution that is the value of x and y that satisfy both the equations so the step one is this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 you have to solve equation 1 for x or y. It depends on you. For x or y. How? Let's see this. You have x plus y equals to 5. And this equation can also be written as x is equals to. So this is the equation that is that is the equation of x in, in x in terms of y. Okay. So this is the equation number 3. So we have got the three equations. Then in step 2, what you have to do is put the value of x from 3 into 2. What you have to do is put value of x. What is the value of x? This one. From equation number 3 to equation number 2. This is 2 and this is 3. Okay. So let's put it in the equation and solve it. The equation was x square minus 2y minus 14 equals to 0. Square minus 2y minus 14 equals to 0. Then we will further, further solve it as uh, open the formula of a minus b whole square. It will become y square plus 25 minus 10y minus 2y minus 14 equals to 0. Then y square plus 25 minus 14 is 11 plus 11 and minus 10y minus 2y is minus 12y equals to 0. Now we have got a, another quadratic equation in terms of y. This is equation number 4. Now we have to solve this equation number 4 by you uh, by, by, uh, by, factorize, uh, by the method of factorization in order to get the value of y. Okay, so our step number three is, so our step number three is, we have to solve the equation obtained in step number two for y. So the equation was actually a quadratic equation that is y square minus 12y plus 11 equals to zero. Now we can use a factorization method in order to solve this. So y square minus 11y minus y plus 11 equals to zero taking y as common from first two terms. So y minus 11 minus 1 y minus 11 equals to 0. So what we have got? We have got y minus 1 into y minus 11 equals to 0. So that means either y minus 1 equals to 0 or y minus 11 equals to 0. So we have got two values at this step. One is y is equals to y is equals to 1 or another is y is equals to 11. So we have got two values of 
y in step 3. Now what will be the step 4? Step 4 is you have to put this value of y in equation 3 that we have formed in the um, uh, that we have formed in step 1. Okay, so put values of y of y in equation 3. So put values of y in equation 3 for finding the value of x. So what was the equation 3? Let's write it. Equation 3 was x is equals to 5 minus y. So first we I will find for for y is equals to 1. What will be the value of x? x is equals to 5 minus 1 equals to 4. And for y equals to 11, value of x will be 5 minus 11 equals to minus 6. Okay. So what are the ordered pairs that are that we have found? So the ordered pairs are ordered pairs are basically the values of x, uh, x and uh, y. So I'll write that ordered pairs are one is let's insert into them. For y value of y we have value of x that is four. So the ordered pairs will be four and one. And the other is here for y, value of y the equal to eleven value of x will be minus six. So I'll write minus six. And 11 as in ordered pairs you have to write the value of x first so the so at the end we will say what is the solution set so the solution set will be write the solution set here solution set is 4 1 and minus 6 11 so this is how you can solve a system of simultaneous equation where you have two equations one is linear and the other is quadratic by using these four steps. In these four steps what you have done, you have just substitute the value of x from one equation into the other equation in order to get the value of x and y. So this was the case one. Now let's discuss the case two in which you have, in which you are given with two quadratic equation as, com as compared to the case one. So in case number two, we will discuss the case when both the equations to be solved are quadratic. So we have to solve them simultaneously to find the uh, and the solution that will satisfy the bo both the equations. So we'll start from the example where we have two equations. One is x square plus y square plus one minus two y equals to ten. This is equation number one, and the other equation is x square plus y square plus four x equals to one. So this is the equation number two. How we will solve the equations like this? So in such a case, step number one is you have to you have to subtract the equation number two from equation number one. So subtract equation number two from equation number one. Or you can also subtract the equation number one from equation number two. Okay. So we will subtract it as x square plus y square plus one minus two y. Then we will write x square plus y square plus 4x. This is the uh, uh, left hand side of equation number 1 and equa uh, equation number 2. And I will write the left hand, hand side and the right hand side of the equation number 1 and 2 on the right hand side as 10 minus 1. 10 is the right hand side of equ equation 1 and 1 is the right hand side of equation 2. So let's solve them further. x square plus y square plus 1 minus 2y minus x square minus y square minus 4x as minus will be multiplied with them equals to 9. It will be cancelled out like this and what we will have we will have 1 minus 2y minus 4x equals to 9. And it can further be simplified as minus minus 2y minus 4x equals to 9 minus 1 is 8. And then we will further simplify it as by taking minus 2 as common minus 2 will be y plus 2x equals to 8 and then y plus 2x is equals to minus 4 or in terms of y we can say that y is equal to minus 4 minus 2x and we have got another equation this is equation number 3 now you have to put what you have to do in the step you have to put the value of in step 2 you have to put the value of y from equation 3 this into the equation Two. Okay, so you have to put the value of y from three into the two. This is the this, this will be the, the step number two. So I'll write the step number two will be step two is put the value of y from three into two. 
that means from equation number uh, equation 3 into equation 2 so let's try, uh, put the value as the equation is the equation number 2 is x square plus y square plus 4x equals to 1 then x square what is y plus minus 4 minus 2x whole square plus 4x equals to 1 then x square plus I will use the formula of a plus b whole square that is 16 plus 4x square plus 16x plus 4x equals to 1 then I will further simplify it plus 16 plus 4x square plus 16x plus 4x equals to 1 and it will be 5x square plus 20x plus 15 equals to 1 and x square plus 4x plus 3 equals to 1 now it will be 0 it will also be 0 okay now we will solve it by factorization as x square plus 3x plus x plus 3 equals to 0 taking x as common x plus 3 plus plus 1 common then x plus 3 equals to 0 then x plus 1 and x plus 3 equals to 0 from here we can say that either x plus we can say that either x plus 1 equals to 0 or x plus 3 equals to 0 so x is equals to minus 1 or x is equals to minus 3 so we have got the value of x so we have to put these values of x into the equation 3 where we have evaluate uh, write the equation in terms of y so let's write it as the equation number 3 is put x in where equation number 3 is y is equals to minus 4 minus 2x so for x equals to minus 1 we have y equals to if we solve it further is y will be minus 2 and for x equals to minus 3 we will have y equals to 2 so that's all from the second method that you can use to find the solution of the two simultaneous equations two simultaneous equations so the solution set will be i'll write the solution set as solution set basically consists of the ordered pairs the so solution set set will be minus 1 and minus 2 and the other is minus 3 minus 3 and 2 so that's all from today's lecture about how you can solve the simultaneous a system of simultaneous equations when you have two cases when where one equation is linear and the other quadratic and when both the equations are quadratic thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you